thank you. First of all, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to come in to the Arctic Colors workshop. Um, I thought Antonio and Maria gave a really nice overview this morning of um, the science associated with it and some of the ideas about the implementation approaches for the program. Um, I know that on the agenda today that um, you have a really nice series of talks um, where everybody will go over, um, sorry, make sure I'm looking at the right page. Um, all of you will go over the science questions and then some of the feedback from the external peer review as well as the public comments and some of the objectives associated with focusing the science a little bit more. I think you'll even spend a little bit of time talking about the field program in detail, what it might look like, and also perhaps some implementation strategies. I'm really pleased that Peter Griffith is here and was able to join us today. Peter is one of the critical people handling some of the field work associated with the ABOVE program that the NASA Terrestrial Ecology Program is supporting um, that goes into the field this year. Um, the, I just want to um, stress to you um, that I want you to stay focused on the science and the focusing of the science and the revisions. And you'll hear about this in detail, but you know, the one thing that I really remember from the panel review, the external peer review um, of the draft science plan was that the science is really compelling, but the scope of it was very, very broad, okay? And so I know how it is to have a science, um, series of science questions or science plan that you just feel like you can't give up any you know, aspect of it without giving up something associated with the science. However, you know, I think if you've been here all week and you've seen some of this, the discussion associated with the exports program, the biology of the biological pump, um, sometimes the scope is, is so big and necessarily so that you think, God, how could we possibly implement this? I think it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Um, and so, you know, we do the best we can and we'll go through the peer review on this as well. But I want you to, you know, stay focused on thinking about the science and prioritizing the science because as hard as that is to do, it's absolutely critical to finding an implementation approach for the program that will enable its success, okay? Um, because you don't want my management chain to look at this and say, this is such a broad, you know, geographic and scientific scope that we don't know how one agency can possibly manage its full implementation. So tuck that in the back of your head. Um, I know you're gonna talk a little bit about a timeline and the next steps, not just the in-situ component, but the modeling component and the remote component. So think about all the assets that you're gonna hear about and all the approaches you're gonna hear about and how they can best be combined to focus down on the science questions. Um, the last thing I wanna do is really thank the writing team, a lot of who are in the room, Antonio, Patty, Maria, Joe, everybody that has spent countless weeks to months working on this and refining it. Um, now is the time to get the feedback from the community on focusing it, and I think that interplay of everybody in this room, I'm actually, I was just saying to Maria, I'm actually genuinely glad these 75 people registered didn't all show up because I think it makes it very hard to get 175, 100 people um, to agree and discuss, right? With a smaller group, that dynamic is a little bit better. The critical piece will be if we go out for public comment on this next version that it would be nice for the, the extra people to weigh in and really give that feedback. Um, I'm gonna stop there because I actually have a plane to catch regrettably, but I wanted to take some time and answer any questions you might have about Arctic colors. No questions. Yes. That's a good question. Usually like the, the committed partners piece comes in when you're thinking about the implementation. Um, you know, I would say like even on exports, we don't have any committed partners yet. Um, and so it's, it's good right now to think about potential other field program synergies or other institutional synergies. Um, but there are no, it's a little bit early for like, you know, signing or establishing letters of agreement between partners, but you should be thinking about and identifying potential domestic and international partners. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, it's a little bit hard, but you know, notionally, so I understand the team wants to sort of revise this by the end of this calendar year-ish. Um, probably it will go out for another round of public comment, depending on how dramatically it changes from the, the first version. Um, and it's also good to do that when you've made sweeping changes in a science plan because you want to ensure community buy-in. I mean, the plan, the science, is not going to go forward if 30 people think it's great and the broad community is like, it's really interesting, but it's not the highest priority. Um, after that period, you know, the team will probably want to synthesize the comments, see if there's anything they need to update, and then we'll do another round of the external peer review with the same field campaign committee that I have, the standing team. Um, and then come like, you know, late winter, early spring, probably I need to give the first briefing to my bosses to say, this is what the science communities come up with, this is what they're thinking. Perhaps by that time you'll have thought about whether there are synergies with the above program or any other domestic or international field programs and we'll sort of weigh options. Um, you know, the exports program seems to have a lot of support. I'm not sure I could handle two large field programs at the same time. Um, I, I mean, I think the, the community could probably handle it, but like it, too much, I think, and then we don't do a thorough job on either. So I'm a little conscious of the resources and the investment, because some people might actually also want to participate in both. Um, if my management finds it, okay, let's think about how we might implement this. We could compete an implementation team next year sometime. Um, you know, you have to write the competition, people have to come in, you have to go through peer review. Um, sometime next year you could stand up a, a science definition team to write an implementation plan. Um, that usually takes about a year or so. I've seen it sort of be in the 12 to 16 month timeline. You want to brief that, you want to go through, you know, public comment. So, um, given exports, um, I would say thinking about the 2022-ish, 2020 timeframe is probably not off the mark for this. Um, but there could be synergies that are very compelling that are, you know, would justify accelerating that if the resources present themselves. So um, the most important thing you can do today is think about the compelling science case. Um, and this is what I told a lot of people with exports this week, like less on the when and more on the what science is really compelling, okay? Other questions? Okay, thank you everybody. And Laura Lorenzoni will be here and back and forth to answer questions for NASA headquarters as well while I'm gone, but good luck. <laughs>